Ladies and gentlemen, before we start the video, I just wanted to let you know, boom, look, it's back, baby. The flower sweater is back, ladies and gentlemen. You know what that means. Go to sadgirlapparel.com, use code 15 off, I know, very original. 15 off to get 15% off your order at Sad Girl Apparel. We're restocked and everything. Go there now. Okay, now watch the video, please. Like, this is probably, like, the the wildest. I've seen it already. I, I saw a bit of it. I didn't see all of it. 2018, at approximately 1.20 p.m., the city of Toronto witnessed the worst mass murder in its history. As 25-year-old Alec Manassian was seen on CCTV, speeding down the sidewalks in a rental van, cutting down each and every soul in his deadly path. Ten Thank God he cut that. Ten people lost their lives. Sixteen others were severely maimed. His vehicle eventually came to a halt, at which point he was arrested at gunpoint. He was then brought to a Toronto police station and subjected to interrogation nine hours later. I've already seen Sylvia Likens. That one's awful. Then you can just have a seat in the corner right over there, okay? Okay. Oh, no. Just have a seat right there, please. Thanks very much. That buzz cut. The detective recounts the events that occurred from the time they last left the room to the time they returned. If I'm not mistaken, the officers uh, fed you, is that right? Yeah, he, he, he uh, tries to be a bro with him. What did they feed you? He then poses the first open-ended question, a question that cannot be answered with a yes or no response. Sandwich and juice. A sandwich and a juice, okay. This may seem inconsequential, yet it's a fairly significant breakthrough. The suspect has already unintentionally gone against his lawyer's advice, which would have been to only respond with yes, no, or I don't wish to answer, and only the question is not related to the crime. If he is capable of making a slip up this early on, it yeah, lets the detective know boy. he will be likely to make a more serious error Officer, later on I run a Discord. <laughs> questions. The strategy will now Officer, focus on the I'm development of rapport, while slowly mod, and okay. subtly shifting the dialogue from trivial matters to the actual circumstances related to the crime. What was that? I didn't have uh, access to the time. They all have to do dangerous challenges from the internet history in front of hundreds of people, such as eating raw cinnamon with the heat spoon or snorting condoms. What the f- That's their sentence, is having to do very dangerous internet trend. Do you feel intimidated right now? Are you scared or anything like that? No. Okay. Uh, we live in Why would he be afraid of a beta male sitting in front of him? Like, come on, dude. You should know this already. Am I to understand that you've you've had some military experience in the past? Yes. Yeah, man. Okay. Was it in, the, in Canada? Let's see it to their yes. mind. And uh, my dad was in the military. Did you have a particular skill that you wanted to develop, or was it just? I was interested in uh, learning how to uh, use uh, weapons. Beautiful. He was very eager about that. Holy shit! Why'd you go to the army? I was I was very interested in weapons. I really wanted to know about weapons and how they work. Specifically, uh, large guns. <laughs> Specifically, large guns. Bro. I, I wanted to do the bang, bang, pew, pew. I never, unfortunately, I never made it far enough in my basic training to, uh, use guns. Uh, so I don't know what type of guns the, uh, uh military uses. Oh, okay. Do you find yourself playing? Do you play a lot of a lot of video games? Kind of like you, 25 years old, imagine you're. Yeah, I actually I actually like playing video games, especially the uh, violent ones. The violent ones, yeah. yeah. I just like to. Uh... See, chat. That's why video games are bad. We got him. He plays COD, dude. He says the gamer word all the time. We caught him. Uh, let out all my urges. That's, into the that's, TV that's screen. why they're there, right? Let out all my urges. That dude, chat. That's why I play violent video games. It's just all, all my urges. I just, dude. Who, like, oh my god, like, how was this kid not locked up beforehand? He's just openly telling this dude. Like, you know, he probably told someone else this. Like, you know, he probably told someone else. I play video game to let out my violent urges. If, if a parent heard that. Or if anyone heard that, I'd be like, uh, maybe we should get this guy checked out before he runs over a bunch of people with a van. I play Witcher to stop me from decapitating people with a sword. <laughs> yeah, the politicians are right all along. So as far as 
being a gamer, how would you classify yourself? Are you? Uh, like a I would big classify gamer? myself as a hardcore gamer. Hardcore gamer. Dude, he's so a hard. Whoa. He's a hardcore gamer. Oh, dude, I didn't know we were messing with a hardcore gamer. It's interesting, though, because of the amount of times I get the feeling of playing GTA 5 when drying IRL. All right, we need to get you checked out. We need to get you checked out. Yeah, this is hard to believe this is real. Like, this, sound, this sounds like irony. This sounds like this dude's being ironic. It's crazy to, like, it's crazy to see it, like, happen in real life. Like, it's crazy that it's real. Someone unironically considers himself a hardcore gamer. Yo, he plays four hours a day. I play cyberpunk, so I stop my sexual urges and praise corporations. I almost feel bad for cracking jokes. Why? Make fun of the dude. That's fine. He literally killed people. You could, you could say whatever you want about the guy. In terms of hours spent during, during the day playing video games, how often would you? How many hours would you spend? I would say an average of uh, five hours per day. Oh, oh, five hours a day, dude. Hardcore. To be fair, that is pretty amateur. Let's be real. That that's kind of weak, chat. Honestly. Like, hell, dude, five? What, what, you got to make sure you get to your bedtime? You know, you got to get to bed on time? Like, come on. Come on. Like, hell, I probably play close to three to four hours a day. And I, I don't even, I barely have time to play games. And I still play like three hours. Like two, two to three hours. Maybe four on a good day. And I barely have time to do anything. You're telling me you're a hardcore gamer? Only five? Come on. Normie. Normie. Dude, My what? understanding is you live at home. You don't live on your own. Am I right? I don't wish to. That's right. Okay. Uh, but you have a good relationship with your mom and dad? Yes. Yeah. And has your relationship always been good with your mom and dad? Yes. Okay. And have they been supportive and loving throughout your life? Yes. And... Um, were there any difficulties in your life growing up with your mom and dad? No. No. Uh, what about with school? Are there difficulties with, uh, with, Very surprising. with school growing up? No. No. Uh, and so when I talk about that, I'm talking about like, the school curriculum, you know, the you know, going to school, learning, and, and, and uh, you know, completing your assignments and things like that. Were there any issues? No. Okay. What about the students? Uh, no. I never had any issues. Never had any issue with any of the students or anything no. like that? No. Um, what about the uh, Stacys and the Chads? Uh, because, you know, sometimes these things are important. Uh, were you, um, how were you treated by the other students? I was treated well. You treated well, okay. Um, did you have any difficulties with any particular group of students? No. No. Uh, what about difficulties with uh, uh, girls in particular? No. No, no, no difficulties with girls at all? No. No, not at all. How do you feel about uh, girls in general? I, I'm attracted to them. Oh, you are? Okay, okay. So you're. You guys ready? Ready? You're heterosexual? Yes. Would it be fair to say that? Okay, that's that's important. Um, have you ever had a relationship with a, with a, a female? I don't push that. Okay. All right. Um, in terms of females, I mean females and women, because you're 25, you're a young man, right? We'll call them women. Um, in terms of your feelings towards women in general, uh, how would you describe that? I would say that sometimes I am a bit upset that they choose to uh, date uh, obnoxious men instead of uh, uh, gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, he's he's literally a fedora wear. Like it, like you think all this stuff. Like you, the the funny part is, is this is all like stuff that people make fun of because it's so far out that you don't think it's real. And then there's this guy. 
He's mad that women date non-gentlemen. He's mad that women don't date gentlemen that run over 10 people in a van. Runner murder. Oh, I shouldn't have laughed at that. Oh, damn it. That was good. Oh. So my understanding is um, you, you, you have some problems with women who date obnoxious men. Right? Yes. And these guys, I'm thinking you're, you're talking about the fellows who are loud, uh, uh, arrogant, um, uh, generally uh, uh, outgoing, and popular with girls. Yes. Is that what you're talking about? Yes. Okay. Um, and you have a problem with the women that date these fellas? Yes. Why is it that you have a problem with, with the women? Because I feel that uh, it's illogical to be uh, dating such men when they could be dating a gentleman instead. Right, right. Like him. A gentleman like him. A nice guy. A true nice guy. How are there people actually like this offline? Do, I don't know. It's hard to believe that this is real. Right, right. That makes sense. I mean, uh, and I've seen that because I've grown up. And I'll tell you one of the issues that I had as a kid growing up. Because I was, um, this is going to say, you might not believe me, but believe me, I, I, was, I was a very big kid growing up. I was actually very, very small. Uh, and it took me a long time to, 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 to grow. He's and, relating. Uh, so as a result, uh, the, I, you know, I, I was kind of ostracized. You know, by ostracized, I was kind of cast aside. Cast aside, yeah, yeah. And, uh, or uh, I left out, like I wouldn't get picked for teams, you know, or anything like that. You know, I was always kind of the last guy. Yeah, you ever see those, uh, those, uh, you know, those television shows where, you know, all the kids are lined up and they're getting picked for, you know, the teams and there's always one guy left out at the end? Yeah. That, that was me. I was, I was, I was that guy. And, uh, and, and I never, I was never uh, very popular with uh, women, girls in, in, in school. Uh-oh. And, uh, and that kind of actually went on Sad. through uh, the early part of my, my, my adulthood uh, until I started, you know, getting taller. And, uh, mature, right? But uh, I understand exactly what he meant because I was, as a kid growing up, I was. Um, Imagine him saying that he's a YouTuber. Stop it! Stop it! He could be making these stories up, though. No, he is. He's definitely making this. He's pulling this out of his ass. Let's be real, chat. He's making this up. It's like any other kid, any other young man, right? He would look at uh, uh, attractive girls, <laughs> and I knew I was probably just as smart, if not smarter than some of the clowns they were dating. But Some of the clowns. Of See, he's trying to he's trying to act like he's an incel as well. See, he's trying to break him down, being like, yeah, "What? Well, we're both incels in here. We both hate women together. Just tell me what happened, bro." You know. The reason I didn't have what it took, they wouldn't you know, they wouldn't date me because I think because I was short, they wouldn't date me, and they'd end up dating you know the tall jocks and the other you know the good looking fellows. So we're talking about. Yes. Yeah. Then yeah. Then you kind of resent these girls, right? Yeah. Because you know that's kind of a superficial way of uh, deciding you know, who is because height go. is an unfair you can't control your height this is the first time the suspect added his own input oh. to a topic without being asked a question first oh oh he, he's he's starting to oh here we it's go it's a sign that he is beginning to develop trust and the investigator now maintains this development by focusing on the detail that made him open up right exactly right 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 what other things can't you control you can't control uh your looks either exactly exactly yeah that's a good point although you're not a bad looking guy Thank you. No, you are. You're a good-looking guy. You keep yourself well. And you're, you're fit. You know, you're tall. Yeah. Um, what other things can you do? Dude, that just feels weird. Like, I know he's doing it for the for to get him to open up. But he's like, you're a good-looking guy. You're a great-looking guy. I know you just murdered 10 people, but you're fit. You're fit. You're a good-looking guy, you know? Good-looking guy for someone who just murdered 10 people. Control. I'm unaware. I'm, I'm not aware of anything else he can't control. Uh, what about... Um, like phys physical disabilities, right? Obviously, if you were... That'd be hilarious if he pulls out... Yeah. You have a big PP man. <laughs> pulls out the PP size. Blind. Or, you know... Unfortunately, you can't control that. Yeah, you can't control that. That's what I mean. So these are things you can't control. Or, um, you know, other disabilities. You know, if you're mentally handicapped or if you, uh, you, you know, you're... You have an amputee, or uh, you know, there's, there's other other things, and I and I and so so does that? Would, would you include that in those those issues that you can't control? Yes. And so, uh, so how long have you had this um, this feeling towards uh, women who are attracted to you know this particular type of guy? Ever since I uh, started uh, college. Ever since you started college. Okay. Did, 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 was it was it something that 
occurred as a result of a Sir, I deem you pog champ. There was a one particular <laughs> moment in your life where it sort of struck home. This was a problem, or was it just a... A broad outline of a motive has essentially been identified for the crime, and the detective is now trying to zero in on particulars. The more detail he can get from the suspect about his established motive, the more incriminating it will be in a court of law. On Halloween of 2013, I was attending a house party, mm -hmm. and oh, here we go. I uh, walked in and attempted to uh, socialize with some uh, girls. Uh, however, they all uh, laughed at me and uh, held the arms of the uh, big guys instead. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's like, it literally just sounds like it's, it's that textbook irony joke of, of the Stacy's and Chad's, bro. Like, he has to make it up. It, dude, this is not made up. This is all real. This is, this is real, bro. Wow, that's kind of rude. And how'd that make you feel? I felt uh, very angry. Yeah. Anger and resentment, the underlying causes for revenge. The reason the legally insane are given leniency is because they are deemed incapable of these complex and multi-layered emotions, thus the incapable big guys of acting talking with evil about intent. Their criminal their large infractions arms. will have no reason or purpose. Yet the suspect has now admitted to quenching the hostility he felt from rejection by inflicting pain and suffering on others. They were, I felt Because I considered angry. myself a supreme gentleman. I was, I was angry, angry, angry that they would um, give their love and affection to obnoxious boots. <laughs> And so it was at that particular moment, and that was sort of the defining moment that made you think that, He's the supreme you know, this gentleman. Is, this is wrong, and you know, these people are, yes. are unfairly treating you in, in the way that they were. I felt yes. angry, yeah. so I and played GTA on IRL. <laughs> oh, God. And, um, oh, so, that's so terrible. From that point on, what, uh, what, 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 what did you start doing? Because it's true. I uh, started thinking that it's unfair that um, certain uh, guys will not get any uh, love and affection for girls. This is why the word incel is so heavily associated with entitlement. If you're a go. normal human being, you might feel lonely when you're not getting love and affection, but not enraged. If you think you are entitled to love and affection, when you don't get it, anger and resentment will likely arise. Yep. Okay. And what, 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 what do you mean by certain guys? Such as me, that are, uh, that are very uh, nice and uh, act gentlemanly. Right, right, right. Are there other guys? Yeah, very gentlemanly. Yeah, like how you ran over and killed 10 people. Very gentlemanlike, very nice and kind. Very, very gentlemanlike. I tip my fedora to you. Nice equals murder. <laughs> the fuck, dude? Did you find other guys? Uh, are in the same there are, I know of several other guys over the internet. Reddit? 4chan? Who uh, feel the same way, but I know they are, I would consider them uh, too cowardly to uh, act on their anger. Too cowardly. Oh, wow. Okay, and so on the internet, what, where, where, what are you talking about in terms of? Uh, specifically, uh, certain boards on uh, 4chan. Oh, okay, 4chan. There it is. <clears throat> there it is. There's 4chan, baby. I'm learning 4chan. All right, so 4chan is a website. And within 4chan, there are these messaging boards. I'm nice. Yes. Fuck me, or I'll mass murder boards people. specific to like-minded people. Yes. So when did you first start going on to 4chan? Since uh, 2014. Oh, okay. All right. How did you learn about 4chan? Uh, I was informed about it uh, by a friend at college. Oh, okay. All right. And did, wait, was he on it as well? Or? Yes. Okay. What's his name? I don't wish to okay. answer. Okay. I understand. What's the general uh, 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 the, Topic within these message boards. Well, on a B, the uh, or random, the general topic. B. Is on. He's on for. <laughs> oh, this you can't you can't make this shit up. Like this is this is textbook. This is oh my god. It's like it's literally oh my it's crazy. It's it's literally exactly. Like the memes. Random. It's in every literally way. any random uh, uh, topic mm -hmm. on R9K. It's like it's, he's reading a script, They uh, dude. call us uh, space robots. Okay. Uh, the topic is usually uh, frustrations at an inability to lose one's virginity, specifically for young males. Okay. Uh, this isn't real. This isn't real. This isn't real.
Bye, runner. It, 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 yeah, it's like they're parroting. It's like they're parroting, um, like a court case or like a like an investigation. It's like a parody of it, but it's not. Uh, poll, which is politically incorrect, mm -hmm. is the general topic is basically political discussions with an alt right bias. Political discussions with an alt right, so you're you're, you're ultra conservative, or you're yes. the, like a, the, what a American, surprise! Uh, a definition would be you'd be an ultra Republican. Yes. Okay. So you, what would your <clears throat> what would your political views be in the alt right uh, uh, message board? I actually don't have any uh, political views. I only have, uh, the only reason I have talked with them was just because I enjoyed their uh, style of uh, conversation. Okay. And what was the style of conversation? Uh, it was very uh, blunt and honest. So when, what would it be, what would it typically focus around or what would, they, what would the, tip, the typical conversations contain? Uh, red pill truths about uh, why uh, women uh, choose to uh, date uh, obnoxious men. Date. <laughs> Red pilled truths, baby. Red pilled truths. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. <clears throat> Red pilled truths. The chads. Yeah. The chads of this world. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, the Stacy is going for the chads. Exactly. The Stacy. No! The, ah! What is happening? What is happening? It's like we just yoink this guy from, from the internet. Like this is, this is crazy. It's it's like you just yoinked a meme from the internet and placed him in this room. He literally he literally just is a meme. Stacy's are the you know, the you know the, the the dizzy dumb girls dating the the goofy you know jocks. Yeah. Right, 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 right. So you call them Stacy's and Jets. Yeah. I've heard, I've heard that term before. I I've done a little bit of um. Uh... This is this is literally this is literally him. Like, this is literally him. Yeah, Amy, I'm almost done. The video is almost done. But the. the uh, uh, reading, and I know a little bit about um, involuntary. Uh, celibacy. Ce 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 celibacy, right? So being celibate, involuntarily yes. celibate. What does that mean? That means. An, celibacy means uh, uh, someone who would never. Before it has a sexual intercourse. Right. Uh, involuntary celibacy means this wasn't your choice. I you see. essentially are uh, have been thrown into true forced loneliness and you're unable to lose your virginity. Right. This is especially uh, painful for uh, young males. When did you first, sorry, you mentioned this and I forgot. When did you first go on to 4chan? 2014. 2014, and specifically when in 2014? May 23, uh, 2014. Oh, wow. How were you able to remember that? He knows the exact day. Because I remember that was a uh, very significant day. Okay. What, day was, what was that? Uh, that was when uh, Elliot Roger uh, decided to essentially... Uh... He's an Elliot Roger fanboy. Oh, boy. Commit an uprising, a beta uprising, if you will, right. against the uh, a Chads beta and uprising <laughs> against okay, the Chads and Stacys. Yes. I so am gonna lose my mind. Movement. It's basically, it's basically a movement of angry uh, incels such as myself who are unable to get laid. Therefore, we want to overthrow the uh, Chads, mm -hmm. which would uh, force the Stacys to be forced to uh, reproduce with the incels. Right, right. Okay. What you say? What is this logic, dude? I a beta uprising against the chads? What is happening? Wh he's 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 legit. He's real. A beta uprising against the chads.
I, I feel like I'm going to have an aneurysm. What is going on? Taking cells, involuntary uh, celib celibate. celibate. So that's just a... Uh, and a force the women to for, have sex with for, them. For, for fellas who... It's literally what he said. Can't, can't have sex. <laughs> and uh, what happened in the uh, Elliot Rogers uh, uh, uprising? What did he do? I know he uh, used a uh, gun as well as a, a vehicle to um, convert the life status of certain individuals to a uh, death status. Right. Convert their life status to a death status. Life isn't a Facebook status, bro. What? Their life status. Yeah, I'm updating my Facebook, guys. Uh, I'm changing my status from live to dead. Offline. I, I, yeah, he, he took a lot of people that were online in real life and, and made them offline in real life. Um, only to uh, carry the message that um, incels uh, can't be oppressed. Right, right. So it was, a, uh, it was an act of rebellion. Yes. And it was um, and, uh, and, um, out of frustration and anger. You could call it an incel rebellion. Incel rebellion, exactly. Right, yeah. Okay. So what did you discuss? He thinks he's in a video game, we basically. We discussed our uh, frustrations at um, society and being unable to get laid. And we were plotting a certain uh, timed strikes mm -hmm. on society timed in order strikes to uh, on society. confuse and uh, shake the foundations just to put all the uh, normies in a uh, state of panic. Oh! Uh, normie means uh, normal people. That would be anyone oh! who is uh, considered to be uh, dude, I'm, normal. I'm, dude, by, I'm about uh, to go offline. Of what? Oh God! I guess it's But not the Chads or Stacys. Chads and Chads and Stacys are actually above normies, or at least they think they're above normies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. So is it fair to say you've got Chads and Stacys up here, normies down here, and then you've got celebs who believe that they are being Incels. repressed? Incels. 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 Sorry. Yes. Incels who believe they're being re 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 uh, suppressed or repressed. Yes. And Chat, remember when he was just answering yes and no and wasn't supposed to reply to him? He's literally giving him his life story now. So as a result, even the playing field. Yes. The you know they they uh, they convert. I guess the I'm not aware of this hierarchy. Chats from living to dead. And, and to so make that them. we come out on us to, on top. Yeah, more than so. Is there are, are, so the the targets? Who would the targets for the this uprising be? All of the uh, alpha males. All the alpha males. So the chats. Yes. So that's those are the people you, that, that that you want to kill. Yes. Okay. All right. And who else? Any uh, any of the Stacys who uh, do not wish to uh, give their love and affection to the incels. So they they you, they're a target as well. Yes. To be killed. Yeah. Kill everyone who doesn't want to have sex with me. That that's his logic. Murder everyone who doesn't want to have sex with me and murder people who get more sex than me. What the fuck? Dear Lord, dude. Yes. Okay, what about the normies? You know, I, I wonder if he thinks that he's gaining his, like, like he, he's getting another incel into his into his army. I wonder if that's why he's talking to him like that. Because he, he portrayed himself as kind of like an incel. So he's like, I think he's trying to recruit him. It's a recruitment. Yeah, more normies. Yes, we, uh, do, we, do, we don't necessarily wish to uh, kill the normies, but we do wish to uh, subjugate them uh, in order to make them understand that the... Um, that our type is uh, the more superior one. Right, right. So when you say subjugate, the, the alpha, the mean, sigmas, meaning uh, either imprison them or put them in a lower position in society. Okay. So that, what, it, dude? This is like, do they think they're gonna overthrow the entire world? Like, what is happening? Put them. What do you mean? What? I'm so like, I'm so confused by this. Do they actually think they're gonna like destroy the entire planet? 
He sounds like one of the text-to-speech voices. But they acknowledge um, the incels or the uh, Pepe the Frog types as the more superior wow. ones. What? Okay, so you're, you're saying things that I'm, I'm not familiar with. So, sorry. What's a Pepe the, Pepe uh, the but we, uh, he's, he's, um, he's a mascot on 4chan. We, uh, he's a mascot? No. Yes. Stop. Oh, on 4chan. Stop. Yes. And he's like, I, was, I was using a metaphor. Stop it. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so uh, he's actually uh, worshipped uh, quite frequently. Oh, okay, okay. Who did you have conversation with first? Let me ask you that. Elliot. Elliot. So how did you learn of Elliot? Because... On um on the we uh, private messaged each other on uh, Reddit yep. after I saw one of uh, his posts mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we just uh, talked about each other and got to know each other and we found each other very interesting. We both had the same uh, frustrations at society right. despite being uh, separated by distance uh, so far apart. No right, monk is right, right. shake. Did you ever visit him? Uh, no, but I wish no I could. No frogs have. chats. Yeah, too did late. Did he ever come visit you? No, but I wish he did. Yeah. When specifically did you first contact or have con contact with Elliot? January of 2014. 2014. And uh, when so did you stop having to him. A communication with him? Uh, as soon as he was deceased. Okay. So uh, his act, I know, took place in 2014, but I, I wasn't aware of the exact day. What day was it? May 23, uh, 2014. May 23rd. Yeah, you said that. Uh, so when did you last speak to him? May uh, 20. May 20th. And so what did he tell you? He told me that uh, he has to go. He must. He is on a very important mission, mm -hmm. and uh, he might not make it back alive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so what did you say to him? I uh, kind of had an idea in my head of what he was uh, planning, but I didn't want to uh, think it was true at the time. So I said, so I replied and said, uh, I wish you uh, good luck with that. Right on. Okay. And so you last speak to him on March 20th. May 20th. May 20th. I'm sorry, May 20th. Side 2014. Quest. Yes. He commits his, his, his acts on the 23rd of May. Yes. And uh, when did you learn that? I'm uh, on a mission done? to overthrow I saw the news Chad later society. Than later on the, on the 23rd. Yes. Okay. And what did you think? Uh, I thought that I. Uh, came to the understanding that this is the mission that he had to uh, carry out. Okay, all right. And anything else? I felt kind of uh, proud of him for uh, his acts of bravery. Okay, all right. And what about uh, how you started to, to, to change your thinking? Your was, was, anything, was, 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 was any of that going on? Thank you for the debate. I was starting to feel uh, radicalized at that time. You were, okay. And when you say radicalized, what do you mean by that? Meaning I felt it was time to take action and not just sit on the sidelines and just uh, fester in my own sadness. Right on, okay. So, what takes place next as part of this, this, this growing radicalization? To be honest, uh, the planning didn't occur until about a month ago. Most of it was actually just thinking okay. and daydreaming. Okay, all right. So, the thinking and daydreaming, when did that start? That started Cut about 360p. a month after the rebellion in uh, May of 2014. The rebellion. Okay, so... So, I mean, since so in June, I started uh, thinking about this stuff. And then that continued right up till about a month ago? Yes, which is when I uh, booked uh, the uh, van with the rider okay. in order to uh, use as a tool for rebellion. Okay, all right. So t t t take me through that process. What was going through your mind and how was, you know, what were you thinking when you were doing all of this? What was going on? I was thinking that it was a time that I uh, stood up to the Chads and Stacys. Okay. And then, and then, so what happened? So this, tell me what takes place. So I uh, booked the van. Yeah. Uh, dude, like, so... I'm so confused what like what his definition of a Chad and Stacy is. Is everyone except 4chan users Chads and Stacys? Like I, I honestly don't understand what what it I just simply wait until uh today yep. and then I assume I that's it. Van, everyone that isn't I, like uh, him, I guess, yeah. Drive it, take uh, it down everyone to everyone that isn't him. I it pretty much is what it turns out to be. Is everyone who isn't him. Oh no? Okay. And I just start using it has a weapon. Okay, all right. And and so when you say that, what, what do you mean by that? Meaning I it, the vehicle collided with... Do we have uh, Chads and Stacys in chat? Any Chads and Stacys in chat? Uh, several pedestrians, some of who are no longer alive as a result. Right, right, okay. That's a way Can to I put it. Can ask why were you looking specifically for uh, a truck? Because it would be uh, large enough to uh, inflict uh, severe damage. Okay, that makes sense. And in this thinking, what were you thinking specifically? about how how the foundations of the world would be shaken by this event. Okay. And uh, it wasn't I mean like oh, I hate people, dude. All this 
Because he couldn't get any pussy. Yes. I know what I mean. I, what I'm saying even, is, even before had I uh, premediated as an attempted uh, suicide by cop. You wanted to you wanted to be killed by the police. Yes. Okay. Um, Suicidal tendencies are by no means enough to prove insanity on their own, but they can be used to argue detachment from oneself. If a defense team can prove that the defendant's self-interest were of no concern to himself, they can also lessen the perception of wickedness with relation to the lack of concern that he had for others. The detective will now attempt to garner information that the suspect, in reality, did not intend to die that day. Can I ask why? So I'm confused. So they're saying it could lessen the sentence if someone who kills a bunch of people wanted to kill themselves at the end because they thought that they would die anyway that makes no sense why would that lessen their sentence Twice. well actually well originally I, I the entire time i had i was holding my wallet with my right hand but then when i saw that that wasn't working i reached into my pocket with my left hand and quickly pulled it out and formed my hand into the shape of a gun like this okay um but they hoped that he would panic and shoot me. That, of course, didn't happen. This entire incident was captured on video. Dude. Look at Canada, dude. Look at Canada. If he was in America, dude, he would have been shot dead 10 times over. Look at Canada, dude. This guy, like, literally punked him three times with a fake gun. Bro, he'd be rolling. He'd be on the ground in a puddle in America. I mean, should have been shot. I agree. He should have. But look at this. There's one cop. These were the two motions that the suspect alleged That's were for the purpose of provoking a lethal his, response. His they seemed convincing, yet notice where the cop was looking and where his gun was pointed at that moment. Eyes looking to the right, away from the suspect, and weapon pointed towards the ground. The assailant most likely knew he wasn't going to- Only in Canada, dude! What? He's looking away from him and not having his gun pointed at him? What? Dude, Canada's wild. Canada's so used to, like, everyone being chill. They're literally just, like, they're not even looking at a dude who just murdered 10 people. It's just like, yeah, whatever. all right, okay. Going to be shot. The police officer was on his own and was incredibly brave to initially confront the suspect without backup. Yet at this moment, he's assessed the threat and recognized there is no need to use deadly force. He wouldn't have taken his eyes off the attacker for even one second otherwise. This is further established by the fact that he takes his time to turn off the siren to try and de escalate the situation. He's trying to de escalate the situation? Canada, what are, what are you smoking, dude? Dude, Canada's so chill. What? He's taking time to turn off the siren. One cop, not even having his gun pointed at him, takes his time to turn off the siren to de-escalate the situation of him just murdering 10 people. Look, there's literally, there's just people just casually walking by. The police officer holsters his pistol and takes out his baton to avoid the use of unnecessary lethal. He holsters his pistol, chat. We're in America. People get shot because the cop thought that it was their taser and accidentally kills someone. This dude literally holsters his gun and takes time to pull out his baton instead. Dude, Canada's, as soon as he takes his Canada's advancing first awesome, step, dude. the assailant immediately gives up. Canada's chill as fuck. What? The assailant, who had just purposely inflicted an untold amount of pain and suffering on so many lives, surrendered at the very first sign that he himself was to encounter any sort of physical discomfort. And so, realizing that the officer wasn't going to shoot you, what did you do at that point? I realized I had no choice but to get on the ground because I was probably going to be uh, tackled anyways or tased and 
if I'm, if I'm going to live, I'd rather not encounter physically a painful experience. So I decided I have no choice but to admit defeat at that point. Right, okay. And so when you say admit defeat, what did you do? I uh, got admit on the, the ground. Feet. Okay. That's quite an experience. That's quite an experience. Wow. Wow, dude, that is wild. That is wild. Canada, dude. Well, there you have it, guys. The incel murderer. Holy shit. Now it's time to walk away. I hope you enjoyed your stay. Did you laugh or cry or maybe subscribed? I'll thank you either way. You know I will miss you. I hope you return. Tell your friend or your mother to get me more views, please.